I have to ask how you balance being a parent and an entrepreneur. But if you were gonna if you were gonna speak on culture a little more, no, I, I, yeah, I mean, balancing being a mom and an entrepreneur now is a whole different thing. And it's funny, my team that has seen pre kids versus now for me are like you are a completely different leader, like. And to the point of like having a deep, profound respect for the people that do do the majority of of the work. I mean, I I have to put that trust in in the team now because I have to be there for my family too. And I think I was a probably a bit of a micromanager before <laughs> before kids. I just like couldn't let go of like very little things that like now I look back on. I'm like, what a waste of my time. But uh, but it's hard, you know, once you're a baby and that was my first baby. Jasper Paul is my first baby. Um, and so now, but now that I have kids, it's just, I mean, I said this the other day in a meeting that you were in with me, but like Jasper Paul is, I'm obviously so proud of it and I am, and I love my business. I love my team. But at the end of the day, like, all I care about is are my kids and my husband and my family, you know? Um, and and it, it just, I don't know, adds clarity of, like, what really matters, in my, in my opinion. So, but I have two little boys that are two and a half and nine months. Like, I have, I have to go home. I can't go home with my tank on E because then I have nothing left to give them. So, like, finding the balance of of how I make sure that that's, that I'm not entering the house already on E is fully dependent on having a team around me that can allow me to do that. So I like, I'm thankful. I have gratitude for them, not only for what they can execute in the business, but what they give me in my personal life too. That's, I think perspective is everything. And that's such a great perspective to have. Uh, do you allow for that to permeate through your company too? So like if you have someone on your team having an off day or like having something to have to take care of personally, are you pretty lenient there? Yeah. I mean, it's like <laughs> finding the balance yeah. in, in that, like, and it's hard as we grow, like, you know, now we're a team of, of 13, like, we're in a, in a state now where it's like, okay, we have to have procedures and protocols and things like that where we would just kind of like handle things as they came up in the past. And, um, and, but yeah, we have a very like balanced, like work-life balance is very important to us. So our hours are 8.30 to 4.30 cause, well, it used to be 4.30 cause I like to go to a five o'clock workout class when I started the company, but now it's, I want to get home to my kids. But, um, you know, some people like to come in early and leave a little early or yeah, if people are having an off day, we work from home two days a week. Like our world is different now, you know, like sitting on a desk, clocking in, clocking out, like it just doesn't operate that way. Your kid's sick. You need to go pick up your kid from school. Of course, like go pick up your kid. If that means you have to get online at night for an hour. Okay. Like we have a quality, you know, we have an expectation of the quality of work that we give to clients. And as long as we're meeting those expectations, like that's all I ask. And just for the record, I was not implying that you let people or you have oh, team members, know. uh, you know, work an hour a day. I, I, what I was really trying to get at was whether or not, and you answered it was whether or not you have people pulling all nighters. And if, if that's, uh, you know, Katie at work is very different than Katie not at work, but it sounds like it's all the same and, and it's very consistent. Yeah. I mean, I, there are, of course are times that we're like hustle. one of my team members and, and people like everyone that works for us cares so much about their work so that sometimes I have to be like, go home. Like this can wait till tomorrow. Um, but when you want to just like show up and do good work, like sometimes it's hard to turn off. And I think that's something I've learned over time. Like, and I have this conversation with my team all the time. Like, I think the height of my anxiety and stress in my career were when I just was putting an exorbitant amount of pressure on myself. It wasn't even like the job was warranting it. I was just so like, you know, in it. Um, so sometimes I have to be like, I know how you feel. You're Everyone has a level of perfectionism that works for me. I have it too. Um, and again, it is that expectation of delivering a quality of work, but not to the point where we're like causing harm to ourselves, <laughs> you know, and that we're so stressed that we 
then can't do our job. So it's like, I find a lot of times I'm like trying to help people navigate how they find that balance and like be kind to themselves. 